What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It is Friday. If you don't know what Friday is, well, you might be just fucking retarded like that guy. Okay, I'm probably not. I'm sorry. But if you're new to this channel, welcome to the Friday Weekly Update. My name is Wolver Guy. I hope you guys are having a great Friday and looking toward the weekend. We got basketball games this weekend in March Madness. But with that being said, we're going to get into Madden Ultimate Team. Like I promised you guys on Wednesday, I did get that Evan Ingram done. We will have gameplay for that for you guys today. And what other, other cards I've picked up. But we will go over everything new, especially this Heroes 2 stuff that just dropped. And anything else that's also going on in Madden Ultimate Team. Uh, show you guys uh, objectives in progress. Also, the Combine stuff is probably over. I don't know, but we're going to find out today. And I'll show you guys what my ultimate lineup is right now. My best lineup overall. With that being said, let's get right into the video. Also, I want to, before, before right there, I, I just fucking lied to myself. Uh, if you guys missed it, I do have Fortnite gameplay that I put out yesterday. It was a little bit later than usual that I usually post. I usually post around uh, 1, 2 o'clock, and that video didn't get out until 4, so I apologize if that was a little um, later than usual for you guys to see my videos come out. But with that being said, let's get into the objectives in progress. So Combine is here for today is the final day, so you guys can get three Combine um, badges, and that list will reset. Uh, I don't know. Ari says I purchased the pack from the store, but I didn't. I, I, I don't know. Uh, so then they got the Mutt Heroes 2 out, complete the sets, and you can do that. But um, that last time it wasn't really worth it, so I don't know. But with, I'm almost done with the overall stuff. Win more, one more game and I get 20k out of that. And then get to a 95 and win 15 games with that and I get 150k, which is going to be very nice. And then they have the Ultimate Master out, if you guys don't know what that is. Uh, pretty much just something new they added. Night Train Lane, Ultimate Master. Pretty much all the stuff is pretty easy, but what you gotta do is the longest thing that's gonna take a long time is win 50 games unless you grind, but it's gonna be really hard to do that this late in the season because everyone has a usually decent team. So we're gonna get into the packs right now. Ultimate Legend, or Ultimate Legend, excuse me. Oh, Mad Rewards Legendary. If you guys don't know what this is, if you link your account with your um, console or whatever, your EA, they will give you rewards when promos drop, and I'll show you guys here in a second how you do that. So, we're going to get two series packs here and see what we get out of here. And let's see, we're going to get some silvers, and we're going to pull an 84 defensive tackle, Jerome McCoy, and an 84 receiver. So, kind of garbage. We're going to pull the next one here and see what we get. We're going to start off with a gold 74 center. We're going to get an 84 Clay Matthews. Another silver. Silver. And we're going to pull an 84 Rick Wagner which is not on the Lions anymore. Uh, but, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Is Rick Wagner... I'm about to fucking Google this real quick. Hold on. Okay, so he does play for the Lions. I thought he got traded or something. I must be getting uh, someone else mixed up. But anyways, that's what's going to be with those. I'd even purchase a pack, and then we're going to get another pack, which is going to be net-typed. Uh, Nigel Bradham. We're going to get a silver... And then we're going to get a Josh Gordon 84, which I want to say what the speed is. 87 speed, 80 catching. That's not bad. What is, is, is does he have good Excel? Because, okay, 86 Excel, not bad, not bad at all. But that's going to look like, that's what we're going to pull out of this. So nothing too big out of this. And we got two Mutt items, and then that was what we got out of those packs. So we'll, we'll go into... We'll look into the solos. They have bundles that you guys can get, obviously. And then the boss bo the boss battles are this weekend as well. Well, they're actually going on right now because everything's reset, obviously. We're going to buy the daily pack only because I need the Tomlinson tokens. We'll talk about that later, too, where my progress is as well. And also, what am I doing with 
these combine uh, tokens that I have. Uh, I think I'm going to do all of them for today and see what I do because I think you need four or six players to get, uh, I, I don't know what it is, uh, I, I think it's like an 88 to 90 something combine player. So we'll see about that real quick. And yeah, that's about it for the packs. You guys see they pretty much just have the, um, this, you know, the Mutt Heroes if you want. So... This isn't bad, but basically I got a little taste of a bundle, if you will, uh, and then you got your Series 2 pack, two, series, 2 Elites, but they're generally just 80, 84, so 55k, I, I don't know. Am I going to do one of these sets? Maybe? I don't know, but we're going to get into the solo challenges right now, and you got the boss battle stuff this weekend. Obviously, there's no bonus because that's going to... Let's see if that's a bi-weekly thing or once a month kind of deal. Because that was nice. So, their special ability this week is speed. So, they're going to be able to cover you pretty well. So, you're probably going to have to be creative with your passing. And then, that's, um, that's going to be it for the boss battle. And then, with the boss battle, you got the Mutt Hero 2 stuff that came out. So, you got 32 challenges here. And you get a side uh, sidekick pack, sidekick. Yeah, yeah, I said that right. Yeah, sidekick pack. And uh, you get basically a that type defensive pack. And then the same thing here. This is all that type, obviously. So every other challenge, you get packs. So you could possibly able be able to do something with that. And then you get a fancy pack at the end. And that's probably it lets you pick whatever offensive card or uh, defensive card you want and I'm going to do these challenges for you guys I'll let you know what that is I don't know I'm not going to do all 32 today but I will probably do these over time because I'm not in a huge rush but I don't know what it's going to drop you overall but we will look into the sets here in a second as well so that's what's going on and we are good on that so we're going to move on next to before we get to the lineup we're going to go into set and we are going to look into the combine real quick so i can show you guys so i'm not doing any more of the champions because there's no point to do them because they're not you're not going to have enough tokens and i'm not spending a shit ton of money so we're going to try and get an 89 to 92 overall and i'll try and get that done for you guys i'm gonna have to play two games real quick they're not gonna be online games i'm just gonna do two quick solos and then i will get those tokens for you guys as well so we're gonna get combine badges here and we're going to see what we can do about that so six by our combine badges we don't have an 89 overall or plus so combine elite so this is how you're gonna do it you're gonna put one two into that i think i might have six i'm not really sure okay so we're gonna get jabril peppers it's not okay so i don't have enough so i might have to do the objective for today i will finish this set for you guys here we'll come back to here this in a bit but we're gonna go over the Mutt Hero stuff. Uh, so you see there's Series 1, that's old stuff. That's You don't want anything to do with. And then you got Series 2. So you get a Hero Exchange, 190 overall Series 2 for an 984 Sidekicks. And then there's you get 1184s and you get 190. Choose any of them of your choosing. Just one out of all 32. So then let's look into them. So all these cards are 96 overall with two chemistries which is really nice which might be worth the grind is the zeke elliott worth it probably not because well there's already multiple 99 cards you can have as a running back so that's kind of i don't know that's kind of pointless in my thinking i guess oh but in my perspective i should say uh 96 so we're gonna look into the lions so you get toughness and move the chains, which doesn't really help, but I have toughness. So you have to add pretty much all these sidekicks, and then you got to get the Rick Wagner card to complete that set. And that's going to be the same thing 
for everything else. So this is my overall. I have toughness maxed out the tier five since that was just expanded. And we got Lynn Damian Thomas into a 98 in the granite. He's only, I think a 96 card or a 97. I can't remember. Well, I'm gonna look into that set before I um, go away and try and do these uh, two challenges real quick. But everything is out kind of the same since last week other than this Rodney Hudson that I did for the boss battle which is not a bad center at all I haven't really tested um, how far he goes if he can get pancaked by uh, another 95 or if he's pretty good on the offensive side of blocking and then everything else is pretty much the same this Evan Ingram we got him at tight end obviously he's not boosted with chemistry even though I have 12 out of 18 on the go deep will i put him at wide receiver or will i keep him at tight end i think i'm gonna keep him at tight end because this um trio right here is a good trio to have and evan ingram hunter hunter henry and dwight clark which is uh not bad those are really fast tight ends across the board so and then the defense is about the same. I did pick up this Josh Norman. I don't know how many coins I spent on him. I think it was about, it was over 200K obviously, but I got him. He was better than the 92 Josh Norman I had. So I'll give you guys what his stats are looking like. He's got 91 speed, 92 excel, 95 agility, 96 zone, 94 play recognition, 96 press, and 87 catching, which is not the best for a corner but if you look at most of these corners their catching is very low it's like either 85 or below honestly so it's pretty crazy unless you have paul kraus which has 92 catching for a 90 card so that it's it's a good corner if you want if you're thinking of getting them if you got panthers chemistry if you got um that red chemistry right there blanket coverage it's worth it and then he's got a pick specialist I mean I got pick specialist here there and a pick six so you can't go wrong there and then I got that chemistry uh, 101 card to Marcus Lawrence to the 97 because of the toughness is tier 5 I have no Cowboys cards so it's on that chemistry alone so everything else is pretty much the same and then the tackling really helps with um, Norman too because with that motivator card I have it's plus two tackling to every card so that really helps out overall and then specialist is the same and team strategy is the same as well uh, I think I'll probably just fade out these Panthers jerseys because I was kind of looking if it really helped anything and it really does not help anything so I really don't know what I want to put this in. I think I will put this in that defensive chemistry right there. So it goes up to tier three, which gives me plus two man coverage, one finesse, and one play recognition. So that's that's not bad. That's not a huge boost, but it's something. And then we're still running the same visuals as well. So I'm going to finish this combine set for you guys real quick. Give me a moment or two. I'm going to do two solo challenges real quick, and then I'll be right back. I'm not going to do boss battles because those take forever. I'll probably do, like, uh, maybe these new challenges, see how long they are, because I don't think they're quarters. I think, uh, let's see, fourth quarter, and it is fourth quarter. So I'm going to do these two challenges right here, guys. I will save that pack for you guys, so I'll show you guys what I get out of that, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so I got the two challenges done. It wasn't even a pack. It gave me an 84 Nat type. Uh, it, was, it was Carlos Dunlap, and it was like, okay, why did you say pack? Why didn't you just say player? But we're going to get into the daily combine stuff that you get for doing your daily rewards or daily objectives, if you will. So we got those three done, and it, they've made the quick sell like an elite this week. And I've pulled 6K, 6K, 6K most of this week, and then 10K right there. But that's not bad. I'll take that. And plus, I just got 20 grand for winning 15 solos with a 94 overall. So that's why I'm at 20K. So we're going to go over to the set right now. And we're going to do this set. And then we're going to hop into a game and see what happens. It, win or lose, we're gonna do it. Unless this guy's got like straight 99s and we get screwed. 
Uh, so, all right, guys. So I got these three additional cards that I bought in auction. So we're gonna see what we get for a high elite card of our choosing. Well, not probably not our choosing, but 89 to 92, and we are going to pull. 90 Amir Abdullah, which is kind of sucks because we didn't need the running back, but we could probably sell that for some good coins, I believe. We're, I'm going to check that out real quick, and then we're going to run right into a game. Like I said, I will, no matter win or lose of this game, I will do it unless I rage quit because this guy's just got, like, he's cheesing and he's got 99s. So like, I, I, your boy ain't about that if he's only got 94 overall. So this combine, he goes for 66k, so we can make our money back easily because we only spent about 30k on him. So I'm going to put this in auction. I'll show you guys where I'm at with the Thomason tokens. And then I'll show you guys about the Madden rewards that I was telling you guys about earlier in the video. So you're going to go over to Master, go to Level Master, and then we're going to go down to the one that I am working on right now. And we are at, we need one more, and we I will have this card done tomorrow. Unfortunately, I wish it was today since I'm recording, but... It is what it is, and the one we have right now isn't bad at all. So with the chemistry, I think he might be a 99 if I have the Thomason to a 98. And so we're going to back out of Madden Ultimate Team real quick. Because this is where you guys have to go for this. So you're going to go to the main page. You're going to over to go over to Live. And then you're going to hit Mutt Rewards. Sign up for Mutt Rewards. And then you're going to type in your stuff for your EA account and then you confirm everything and it will be synced to EA and your console and all that and they'll give you packs like they just did to me. So with that being said, we're going to move into seasons and I don't even know where I'm at in my season right now, man. This is going to be crazy. Because I have not played in a long time. And our Amir Dula just sold. So that's going to be nice. We're going to be over 200k again. So looks like we're 3-1 and one right now. Which isn't bad. So we're going to get into this game. And see what happens. Charles and I settled here in All right, the booth. So this going to have a 93 be a fun Legends, 93 Ultimate Adrian team Pearson, matchup. and a 91 Brandon Cooks. Some of the stars That's not a bad team, but there game. is Let's our top right to three, it. and I'm loving it right there. Two offense and one defensive card, and it doesn't even show you that I have Josh Norman on there, which is kind of sad, but... How does the kickoff unit is but, uh, and send this that's one pretty away. cool. Set to return. This is Brandon Cooks. And he'll take it past the 25. And can I adjust this audio real quick? I hope I can. Volume controls, yes. So we're going to have to spy Vic most of the time because he's going to want to run. And... Wow! What the fuck is going on? He should... I, I fucking dove for him and he just got the first down. Are you fucking serious? And he's going to try and run with Vic again. You're not going to be able to do that, buddy. I'm going to do this every time. Okay, so second and 11. He's going to look... Looks like he might try to throw the ball. I don't know. Let's see what happens. And he's going to throw it in the double coverage, and DeMarcus Ware almost picked it off. So it's going to be third and 11 for Sports Club right now. We're going to see. And he had that Brandon Cooks uh, flashback, so that's um, one of the new ones that they just dropped as well. So we're going to get Garrett in the, sp in the um, spy again. He can't go anywhere. And Clinton Dix is going to pick it off. User pick, well, kind of. But we are going to get the ball on our 10-yard line. Try and start to run the ball on the first play. And we're going to get absolutely nowhere. and going to get stuffed up the line. This guy looks like he's running nickel, it looks like, maybe. Can we get to Ingram? No, we're just going to dump it off. And we're going to get stuffed on the one. Do we go for it? 
It is fourth and one. Uh, why not? We're gonna we're gonna try it. We have nothing to lose in here. So we okay. Looks like he's gonna go in a full out blitz. And we're just gonna give it to Ingram and get the touchdown out of it. We're gonna score a touchdown with Evan Ingram first play for him. And that's a full out blitz touchdown. Alright, that's a great start for this card. I did not even, uh, <laughs> I didn't bullet pass it. I didn't do nothing to it. And we're going to get burned with Brandon Cooks on that play. I didn't even know what to do on that play. That was crazy, but that's going to be 45 yards for him on this first down. And he's going to get sacked by Miles Garrett. I almost forgot his name. Boy, that's going to be a great, great pushback right there. And he's going to try and run it. And Adrian Peterson gets swallowed up in the backfield for negative three yards. So it's going to be third and 14. but he didn't so we gotta look for anything quick we gotta look for anything quick and he got it with Colt Cruz for the touchdown all right so it is third and 14 we are backed up right now and let's see if we can get something going on this play he doesn't have anything deep we're gonna get a touchdown with Marvin Harrison, wide open, four deep for the touchdown. So that's going to give us a 14 to seven lead right now. All right, inches. Oh, and he lost the ball. Grab it. Go. Go! Don't go into the fucking defense! What are you doing? Play. So, we're gonna see what happens. And we're gonna get the first down and more. Jackson's gonna get lit at the 12 yard line, but that's gonna be a first down. Come on. Get in position. With two seconds, we snap the ball, but we don't get anything going. We're just gonna run with Wentz. Fuck it, we're gonna get a touchdown with the two minute warning. Uh, he's got five seconds to hike the ball right here. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. it looks... And in the double coverage, Stephen Gilmore. Can we get a pick six? Can we get a pick six? Can we get a pick six? We're going to get a pick six on Michael Vick. And that's going to give us another seven-point lead. And he's going to dump it off to Adrian Peterson, but he's not going to get the first. Will he punt it or will he go for it is the question. And I think he's going to punt it in this situation. And he will punt it. I'm surprised. Okay, I've never used this Colt Cruz as a return man, so we're going to see what we can do with him. We're going to juke, and we're going to get stuffed at the 45, but that's good position right there. That's good position. Let's see if we can try and run it. We're going to spin, and we're going to get a touchdown with Damian Thomas in 13 seconds in the second quarter. So let's see what happens. And we're going to throw it deep, and we're going to get a first down and almost a touchdown on that. Pretty sketchy right here. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. We're just going to run it with Wentz. Screw it. You can't do it with Vic. I can do it with Wentz, though. <laughs> I just pranked this guy so hard. <laughs> oh, my God. Every time I swear to God I do that, I eight out of ten times I get someone to do that. I get the fucking jump. 
But uh, guys, I just ran out the clock out of good sportsmanship. Uh, I just wanted to try and get the first, even if he was going to try and call the timeouts. But I'm not going to need to call the timeouts. So this clock is just going to run because the um, play clock is, oh, he, he's really going to call a timeout. Are, are you serious right now? Are you serious? Okay. Oh, wow. Let's see, if he really thinks he's going to... We're just going to put Thomas into the right side here. And we're going to roll out of the pocket. Wait. And we're going to throw it. And it's going to be intercepted. Well, that's probably karma. And we're going to let him think he's going to get a return by juking out the AI guard. But, hey, you know, we won. I just wanted to see what happened. I was like, you know what, fuck it. But he's calling timeouts like he thinks he's going to win the game. You're down by 32. But that'll do it for today's video, guys. Um, this is probably going to be a little bit longer than usual. But I just want to show you guys gameplay on the tight end. We couldn't get him too involved in today's video. But, hey, you guys get to see that one play that he just went absolute ham on. So we scored 28 points in the second quarter alone. That is crazy. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have a great day, great weekend. I will be back on the Monday with whatever. I have no idea. It might be Fortnite, it might be Siege, it might be Madden, who knows? But tune in. If you guys aren't sub, sub to me. You guys are missing out if you aren't. Like the, please drop a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this video. But with that being said, hope you guys have a great day. Take care. See you later.